Dear students, welcome to Creative Educational Idea. Today, we shall keep our eyes on Elizabethan age. Elizabethan age, as well as Jacobin age. Understood? As well as Jacobin age. So, some indispensable questions will come in your SSB lectureship examination dear students let's keep our eyes on some points on elizabethan age as well as on jacobin age so let's know what is the jacobin age called jacobin age or era was period in english and scottish history from 1603 to 1625 this period in english uh, this is called Jacobin age or era was a period in English. Understood? It corresponds with the reign of James 16 of Scotland. The reign of James 16 of Scotland. He inherited the English crown in 1603. Who? James 16. And was renamed James 1. The era followed the Elizabethan and came before what is known as the Caroline era. Understood? So, the Jacobin age of era was the period in English and from 1603 to 1625, this period is known as Jacobin age. And it corresponds with the reign of James 16. James 16. Understood? Who inherited the English crown in 1600? three and after that he named james one so that era followed the elizabethan understood that era followed the elizabethan and came before what is the known as the caroline era caroline era let's go to the next point what are the main points of jacobin age Because with a nation divided in civil war seeming inevitable, the Jacobin age 1602 to 1625 was a time of great uncertainty. So that time was a great literature time. All that time, the writers like Shakespeare, Benjamin. Their writings we are famous. Understood? Who? William Shakespeare as well as Ben Johnson. Let's now take a glance on this point. Who was the greatest dramatist of Jacobin period? During the Jacobin period, who are the greatest dramatists? William Shakespeare was already a well-known and successful playwright when James one came to throne. William Shakespeare, whom did I say that he was called the Bard of Avon? He is called the Bard of Avon. And the greatest writer in English literature, the greatest poet in English literature, he was a playwright, he was a dramatist. He was born in 1564 at Stratford upon Avon. So, on the bank of the Avon River, there was a village. Its name was Stratford, where Shakespeare was born. Shakespeare was born in 1564 at Stratford. At Stratford, he married Annie Hathaway. His wife name was Annie Hathaway. He had two child, three children, Susna, Judith, and Hamnet. Susna, Judith, and Hamnet. So, in my next video, I will explain you elaborately on William Shakespeare. He continued to write plays for the king's men, the company with which he worked. 
which was directly patronized by the king one of the greatest tragedy macbeth was written during this period william shakespeare had written his greatest tragedy during the jacobin period his greatest tragedy macbeth it was written during jacobin period why is jacobin drama called so jacobin drama the body of plays written and performed during the reign of james i understood jacobin drama the body of plays were written as well as performed during the reign of james i 163 to 1625 understood is known for its explanish exploration of tragedy in a manner it is distinct from elizabethan era so on the other hand jacobin dramas they also reflected the societal and political jacobin drama they also influenced they also reflected on they also influenced on societal and political let's know who is jacobin named after who is jacobin named after the jacobin style is the second phase of renaissance architecture in england so it followed the elizabethan style which one no, uh, the jacobin understood the jacobin it followed the elizabethan style uh, it named after the king james 16 which i have already told you james 16 and 1 with whose reign 16 to 23 to 1625 in england it is associated with understood the jacobin period is associated with 163 to 1625 let's go to the next point what is jacobin tragedy called what is jacobin tragedy called drama also known as jacobin tragedy tragedy of blood jacobin tragedy tragedy blood this is known as jacobin tragedy so dear students let's know who we are the major writers during the jacobin period during the jacobin period among dramatists like shakespeare ben jonson beaumont fletcher uh, fletcher webster oh, sorry fletcher webster fletcher webster is one turner ford middleton as well as role they we are very attractive then don dreton we are two of the most famous of the lyric poets during jacobin period bacon and robert burton we are best known for prose writers during that time during the jacobin period all that time don and dreton we are the famous lyric poets on the other hand bacon and robert bone we are the best prose writers during jacobin period but among the dramatists they were william shakespeare ben jonson beaumont fletcher webster turner ford middleton as well as role they were very attractive dramatists during jacobin period understood let's go to the next point what are jacobin elements what are jacobin elements jacobin designs incorporated palladian classical orders and columns with capitals and arcades were used jacobin designs incorporated palladian classical orders and columns with capital and arcades were used building could have flat roofs gable roofs or a combination of both understood there then staircases and 
Molinod windows were important architectonic elements during the Jacobin periods. Staircase and Molinod windows were important architectonic elements during Jacobin periods. So let's know about what are the characteristics of Jacobin. Characteristic of Jacobin tragedy are heightened language, multiple plot lines, complicated stagging and costuming, high levels of violence, spectacle. Understood? So they are the characteristics of Jacobin period. I am repeating them again. High net, uh, heightened net language, multiple plot lines, complicated stagging, costuming, high levels of violence and spectacle. Let's go to the next. What are the poets of Jacobin? During the Jacobin period, John Webster, Thomas Middleton, John Ford, Benjamin Son understood so they are creation they are poetry together with the cavalier poets and john don they are the poets of jacobin periods they are the poets of jacobin period Who was the king of Jacobin age? Who was the king of Jacobin age? So which I have already discussed once again I am talking about James I. The Jacobin era was the time when James I was the king of England between 1603 to 1625. Understood? James I. He was the king during the Jacobin era. We call it the Jacobin era and not the Jamesian era because Jacobus is the Latin version of the name James. Understood? That's why we can say it to Jacobin era. Which king was Jacobin? It repeated it again. Jacobin age from Latin word Jacobus. It has derived from James. A period of visual and literary arts during the reign of James I of England since 1603 to 1625. What are the themes of Jacobin era? Jacobin drama in English literature, characteristics, themes and dramatists. Take a glance on them. Change of patterns. What are the themes of Jacobin era? The themes of Jacobin eras are the themes of Jacobin era are change of pattern, lack of genius, or poor characterization, lack of dramatic technique, art of plot construction, imbalance in drama, opposition by Puritans. Who made the Jacobin style? Take a glance on this question. Who made the Jacobin style? The history of Jacobin furniture. Early Jacobin style owes credit to Queen Elizabeth. Understood? Early Jacobin style has credited to Queen Elizabeth herself, who modified the earlier Tudor style characterized by medieval severity into a more visual decorative style of her own. Queen Elizabeth created the Jacobin style. When was the Jacobin style? The Jacobin style was 1600 to 1690. Architecture and furniture during the reign of James I in Britain since 1603 to 1625, his son Charles, he was 1625 to 1649. Some historians extend the period to the Commonwealth, 1649 to 1660, 
and even the restoration period understood including charles ii 1660 to 1685 understood and james ii 1685 to 1688 who were the two jacobin playwrights who were two jacobin playwrights some of the most prominent jacobin playwrights apart from william shakespeare ben Jensen, webster turner bimod fletcher middleton Rolle, Marston, Howard, Ford, and Decker. Apart from William Shakespeare and Ben Jonson, the other playwrights we are Webster, Turner, Beaumont, Fletcher, Middleton, Rolle, Marston, Howard, Ford, as well as Decker. They were the famous playwrights during Jacobin periods. Who was the foremost poet of Jacobin era? I am repeated it again. Ben Jensen, John Don. They regarded as the originators of the two diverse poetic traditions. Understood? Ben Jensen as well as John Don, they regarded was the foremost poet of Jacobin era. Ben Jensen and John Don. What was the first English tragedy? Gorbodok. It was written by Thomas Sackville as well as Thomas Norton. It was written by Thomas Sackville as well as Thomas Norton. And it is a chain of slaughter and revenge written in direct imitation of Seneca. Gorbodok was the first English tragedy which was written by Thomas Sackville and Thomas Norton. And what has depicted in this uh, tragedy? A chain of slaughter and revenge written in direct imitation of Seneca. What is meant by let's take a glance on the Elizabethan age? What is meant by Elizabethan age? Definition of Elizabethan age, a period in British history during the reign of Elizabeth in 16th century so this period is known as elizabethan age i am repeating it again during the reign of elizabeth one in 16th century this period is called elizabethan age an age marked by literary achievement and domestic prosperity what is the elizabethan age in english literature the the reign of England's Queen Elizabeth I, 1558 to 63. This period is considered as the Elizabethan age in English literature. The literary height of the Rens English Rensa poets and dramatists drew inspiration from Italian forms and genres such as the love, sonnet, pastoral, and allegorical epic were created during Elizabethan age. And we should know their dear students, England's the reign of England's Queen Elizabeth I since 1558-1603. This period is called Elizabethan age in English literature. Let's take a glance on the next point. Why is Elizabethan age called Golden Age? You should know that the Elizabethan age is called Golden Age in English literature. The Golden Age represented the apogee of English Rensa and saw the flowering of poetry, music and literature. Which one? Why did Elizabethan Age depict as Golden Age? Because during that time, the Golden Age represented apogee of English Rensa and so the flowering of poetry, music, and literature. That's why this period was called Golden Age. The era is most famous for its theater as William Shakespeare and many others composed plays that broke free of England's 
पर स्टाइल ऑफ थिएटर पास्ट स्टाइल ऑफ थिएटर दैट्स वाई दिस पीरियड इज कॉल्ड गोल्डन एज व्हाट इज द एलिजाबेथन एज ऑफ शेक्सपियर शेक्सपियर लिव्ड फ्रॉम सिक्सटीन फिफ्टीन हंड्रेड सिक्सटी फोर इट विल बी फिफ्टीन हंड्रेड सिक्सटी फोर टू सिक्सटीन सिक्सटीन यू आर स्कॉलर्स एंड हिस्टोरियंस ऑफ एन रिफर टू हिम बींग अपार्ट फ्रॉम द एलिजाबेथन एज द पीरियड वॉज इंग्लिश हिस्टोरी ड्यूरिंग द रेन ऑफ क्वीन एलिजाबेथन वन ड्यूरिंग द रेन ऑफ क्वीन एलिजाबेथन वन दिस पीरियड इज नॉन एज एलिजाबेथन एज हुई स्टार्टेड फ्रॉम फिफ्टीन फिफ्टी एट टू सिक्सटीन थ्री अंडरस्टूड एंड वॉज इट सेल्फ फॉर द इट्स सेल्फ पार्ट ऑफ द लार्जर ट्यूडर पीरियड यू शुड नॉट दैट ड्यूरिंग द रेन ऑफ क्वीन एलिजाबेथन वन दिस पीरियड इज नॉन एज एलिजाबेथन एज इट स्टार्टेड फ्रॉम फिफ्टीन फिफ्टी एट टू सिक्सटीन थ्री वाई इज शेक्सपियर कॉल्ड एलिजाबेथन इरा वाई इज शेक्सपियर कॉल्ड एलिजाबेथन इरा William Shakespeare lived more than 400 years ago during the period of English history known as the Elizabethan age understood named after queen elizabeth 1 that period is known as the golden age of english literature queen elizabeth recognized how important the arts theater were to her nation she recognized how important the arts and theater that's why she created a golden age of creativity who elizabethan so shakespeare william shakespeare he lived more than 400 years ago and uh, during the reign of elizabethan age during the reign of elizabethan elizabeth 1 in england because she recognized how important the arts and theater we are for her nation so that she created a golden age of activity creativity during that time that's why elizabethan age is called the golden age in english literature what is the theme of elizabethan age what is the theme of elizabethan age some of the most significant themes in elizabethan sonnet sequences include includes love time value of writing including love time and value of writing these are the theme of elizabethan age including including ta love time value of writing and eternalization eternalization of beauty romantic love these are the themes of elizabethan age including love time value of writing including love time value of writing and the eternalization of beauty romantic love these are the theme of elizabethan age because elizabeth one she considered she considered she kept important she recognized how important the arts as well as theater for her nation so that she created a golden age of creativity understood and what did i say now i told you that including love time value of writing and eternalization of beauty and romantic love these are the theme of elizabethan age in english literature who wrote the elizabethan age who wrote the elizabethan age who wrote the elizabethan age 
take a glance on it. Elizabethan literature body of works written during the reign of Elizabethan one. Understood. England uh, since fifteen fifty eight to sixteen three. Probably this period is called Elizabethan age. All that time, the most splendid age in the history of English literature. Or uh, during this period, such writers as Philip Sidney, Edmund Spenser, Roger Ascham, Richard Hooker, Christopher Marlowe, as well as William Shakespeare. Developed, flourished. Who was the most famous writer of Elizabethan age? William Shakespeare. William Shakespeare was the most famous writer of Elizabethan age. Most famous writer of Elizabethan age were William Shakespeare. Many people regarded him as the greatest playwright all that time. Who? William Shakespeare. So he was born in fifteen sixty four at Stratford upon Avon. Understood. A small town about ninety miles northwest of northwest of London. So Avon, this is the name of a river, where the village on the bank of the Avon River Stratford was located. That's why Shakespeare is also called the Bard of Avon. What are the features of Elizabethan age? What was the features of Elizabethan age? It was an era of social, political, and religious peace. It was also an era of great adventure. Which one? Elizabethan age was an era of social, political, as well as religious peace. On the other hand, it was also an era of great adventure, travel, and discovery. Understood, and it was the golden age of literature. Which one? Elizabethan age was the golden age of English literature because all that time Queen Elizabeth she was ruling over in England, and she proved to be the rich flowering of season for literature. Who? Elizabeth one. That's why this period was called the golden age in English literature. What are the characteristics of Elizabethan poetry? Elizabethan poetry is notable for many features. Understood? So, including the sonnet form, blank verse, sonnet form, blank verse. The use of classical material. The introduced the sestet is seen from the different perspective in the sestet. All that time, these are the characteristics of Elizabethan poetry, such as sonnet form, blank verse, use of classical material introduced in the ostet. They are seen during the Elizabethan poetry. These are the characteristics of Elizabethan poetry. What is Elizabethan poetry? Let's take a glance on it. Elizabethan poetry refers to the body of poetry written during the reign of Queen Elizabeth I. So, which poems we are written during the reign of Elizabeth I of England since 1558 to 1603? They are known as the Elizabethan poetry. So dear students, let's take a glance on some multiple choice questions on Elizabethan prose as well as poetry. The sonnet was first brought to England by Sir Thomas Wade. Really, Sir Thomas Wade brought to England sonnet firstly, Sir Thomas Wade. The first blank verse in English was written by Yalab Sore. The first blank verse in English was written by Earl of Surrey. How many lines does the sonnet contain? 14 lines. A sonnet contains 14 lines. A poem of 14 lines is called sonnet. What is the structure of Shakespearean sonnet? Very easy. 
ए बी ए बी सी डी सी डी ई एफ ई एफ जी जी दिस इज द राहिम स्कीम ऑफ एक्सपीरियंस ऑन इट वॉट इज मार्लोज माइटी लाइन ब्लैंक भॉर्स ब्लैंक भॉर्स इज कॉल्ड मार्लोज माइटी लाइन Who made blank verse? The who made who made blank verse? The regular meter of epic John Milton. John Milton made the blank verse the regular meter of epic. Songs and sonnets were written by Tutu. Songs and sonnets are written by we are written by Tutu. Take a glance on next. Since there is no help, come, let us kiss and part. It was written by Drayton. Since there is no help, come, let us kiss and part. It was written by Drayton. The sonnets of Shakespeare were printed in sixteen hundred nine. During sixteen hundred nine, Shakespeare sonnets were printed. Printed. The sonnets of Shakespeare may be addressed to William Herbert. Understood. Shakespeare sonnets were addressed to Mr. W. H. or William Herbert. Who wrote the following lines? But we are some child of yours, alive that time. You should live twice in it and in my rhyme. It was written by William Shakespeare. Spencer wrote the Shepherd's Calendar in the year fifteen seventy nine. In fifteen seventy nine, the Shepherd's Calendar was written by Spencer. The Fairy Queen was written by Edmund Spencer. The Fairy Queens is written in six books. The Fairy Queens was written in six books. So, take a glance on the Rahim scheme, the Rahim plan of same Spencerian stanzas, A B A B B C B C C. This is the Rahim scheme of Spencerian stanza. In fifteen hundred ninety four, Spencer married to Elizabeth Boyle. In fifteen ninety four, Spencer married to Elizabeth Boyle. Which one of the following is a marriage song? Epithalamion. Epithalamion. This is a marriage song. Epithalamion. Epithalamion. The line "Sweet themes run softly till I end my song." It was appeared in Prothalamion. Epithalamion. This is a marriage song. The line "Sweet themes." Run softly till I end my song. It was appeared in Prothalamion. Prothalamion. The title of Spencer's collection of sonnet is Amority. Shakespeare's collection of sonnet is called Amority. The Elizabethan age was especially con congenial for lyric. The Elizabethan age, dear students, what did I discuss? so that was especially congenial for lyric sir philip sidney was killed in the battle of jutfen during the battle of Jut jutfen sir philip sidney carried off the title of sidney's book of sonnet is known as the title of sonnet sidney's book of sonnet is known astrophel and stella The title of Sidney's book of sonnet is Astrophel and Stella. Who was the soldier, sailor, explorer, courtier, and writer of the Elizabethan age? He was a soldier, sailor, explorer, courtier, as well as a writer of the Elizabethan age. This is Sir Walter Raleigh. Identify the source of following line. Oh, mistress mine, where are you roaming? Oh, mistress mine, where are you roaming? It has been extracted from Twelfth Night. Or it is also known as What do you will? What do you will? On the other hand, 
this is also called twelfth night this line has been extracted from twelfth night oh mr smile where are you roaming the longer poems venus and adonis and lucrece they were written by william shakespeare the lyric passionate sapphire to his lover was written by marlo passionate sapphire and his lover it was written love was written by marlo identify the writer of the following lines come live with me and be my love and we will all the pleasures prove come live with me and be my love and we will law all the pleasure prove it was written by marlo john don is the greatest metaphysical poet he was the leader of the metaphysical poet and he was the greatest metaphysical poet the metaphysical poets are john don george herbert henry vaughan understood they are the metaphysical poet Dear students, we shall also exclusively discuss on metaphysical poets in my next video. The poem "Go and Cast the Falling Star" it was written by John Donne. Like that, death be not proud. Understood? That was that poem was also written by John Donne. The poem "Go and Cast the Falling Star" it was written by John Donne. John Donne was a lawyer as well as a priest. Who wrote the songs and sonnets? The songs and sonnets was also written by John Donne. Celia, Celia was written by Ben Jonson. Celia was written by Ben Jonson. Identify the author of the following lines: Drink to me only with thine eyes, and I will pledge with mine. Or leave a kiss but in the cup, and I will not look for wine. Drink to me only with thine eyes, and I will pledge with mine. Or leave a kiss but in the cup, and I will not look for wine. It was written by. It was extracted from Ben Jonson's creation. It was explicated by Ben Jonson. Plutarch's Leave of the Noble Grecians and Romans was translated by Sir Thomas North. Who is used lives of the noble Grecians and Romans as storehouse of learning? Who is used lives of noble Grecians and Romans as the storehouse of learning? William Shakespeare. Identify the author, the principal navigations, voyages, and discoveries of the English nations. So this is Richard Hakluyt. The principle of navigations, voyages, and discoveries of the English nation. This is Richard Hakluyt. The principle navigations, voyages, and discoveries of the English nation was published. We are published in fifteen hundred eighty nine. Prochas's Pilgrim was published in sixteen twenty five. The history book chronicles. Fifteen seventy seven was written by Holin said. The history book chronicles fifteen seventy seven was written by Holin said. Who used chronicles as a source book for writing their history plays? The chronicle as a sources source book for writing their history plays. They are William Shakespeare as well as. Marlo Christopher Marlo Epuis is written by John Lilly Epuis was written by John Lilly They are commonly so nest believed that are best beloved and they liked the best they like best we have known longest this example of the style of speaking is known as Epigem They are commonly so nest believed that are best beloved and they liked best whom we have known longest this example of style of speaking is known as epigem who is the author of the 
पांडोस्टो पांडोस्टो वाज रिटन बाय रॉबर्ट ग्रीनी वाज अ यूनिवर्सिटी विथ रॉबर्ट ग्रीनी पांडोस्टो इज यूज्ड बाय शेक्सपियर एज अ सोर्स फॉर द प्लॉट ऑफ हिज प्ले द विंडोस्टेल विंडोस्टेल सो पांडोस्टो वाज आल्सो यूज्ड बाय विलियम शेक्सपियर एज सोर्स फॉर द प्लॉट ऑफ हिज प्ले द विंडोस्टेल सो वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट थॉमस नास हु वाज द क्रिएटर ऑफ द पिक्चर्स क्यू नोवेल सो द फर्स्ट पिक्चर्स क्यू नोवेल वाज द अनफॉर्चुनेट ट्रैवलर अंडरस्टूड द अनफॉर्चुनेट ट्रैवलर वाज रिटन बाय Thomas Nas, he was the father of Pictures Q novel, and the Pictures Q novel, the life of Jack Wilton, it was also written by Thomas Nas, and the first Pictures Q novel was Unfortunate Traveler. Pictures Q novels were first written in Spain. Bacon's essays first appeared in the year fifteen hundred ninety-seven. some books are to be read only in parts others to be read but not curiously and some few to be read wholly comes from bacon's essays of stories let's take a glance on elizabethan age again the elizabethan age is also called golden age what did i discuss now elizabethan age ends in 1603 it started from 1558 and it ended in 1603 among the following who was an elizabethan ballad writer ballad i have already told you a narrative poem which tells a story is called ballad or uh, among the following who was an elizabethan ballad writer who wrote the garland of goodwill and strange histories of king prince duke this is thomas delo thomas deloni thomas deloni he had written the garland of will and strange histories of king prince duke the most interesting of the early elizabethan prose fiction by george gascoigne was the adventure of master f j the most interesting of early elizabethan prose fiction which was written by george gascoin that is the adventures of master fj in thomas nas the unfortunate traveler which i told now i explained you now i discussed about the unfortunate traveler it was the first pictures q novel by thomas nas that's why he is called the father of pictures q novel The story relates the life of Jack Walton. Jack Will Jack Wilton. This is the unfortunate traveler. May I ask the following words with the writers? So take a glance. Here the correct uh, answer will be A. Option A will be the correct one. Let's take a glance once again. How it will be the answer? so a so you can check it so i will explain you this uh, question later take a glance on the next jacobin era in literature some of the shakespeare's most powerful plays were written in that period the tempest king lear and macbeth as well as powerful works john webster and ben jonson during jacobin era what did i discuss in the introductory part of this class what proceeded in jacobin era caroline era the jacobin era ended with the severe economic depression in 1622 1626 complicated by a serious outbreak of bubonic plague understood in london in 1625 The Jacobin era ended with a severe economic depression in 1620 to 1626. All that time, a complicated, serious outbreak had been broken out. What is it? That was bubonic plague. 
द वर्ड जैकोबिन इज डेराइड फ्रॉम द हेब्रिय लैंग्वेजेस अंडरस्टूड द वर्ड जैकोबिन हाज डेराइड फ्रॉम द हेब्रिय लैंग्वेज द जैकोबिन इरा सक्सीड्स डैस डैस एंड प्रसिड्स द कार्लाइन इरा एंड स्पेसिफिकली denotes a style of architecture visual arts decorative arts as well as literature that is predominant of that period this is elizabethan era the jacobin era succeeded the elizabethan era johnson was also an important innovator in the specialized literary subgenre of masque understood Johnson was also an important innovator in the specialized literary subgenre of the masque which went through an interest intense development in the jacobin era the first fire breathing dragon in english literature fire breathing dragon the first fire breathing dragon in english literature occurs in which old english epic poem this is beowulf in the poem beowulf the first dragon breathing the first fire breathing dragon appeared what are the beginning and ending dates of reign of james 1 1603 to 1625 understood the reign of james 1 1603 to 1625 famous satiric drama bolpon was written by ben jonson The famous satiric drama Volpone was written by Ben Jonson, who killed his fellow actor with a duel. Understood? Ben Jonson. The foremost poet of Jacobin era was John Donne. Jacobin era was John Donne, the metaphysical poet, and the leader of the metaphysical poet. John Donne was the foremost poet of jacobin era the jacobin era refers to period of time in early 17th century in which of the following countries england very interesting question i am repeating it again uh, the jacobin era refers to a period of time in the early 17th century in which of the following countries england So, dear students, you will mug up all of these questions, which are indispensable for your upcoming SSB PG English examination. So, without wasting time, mug up all of these and take a glance on each points. What did I discuss on Jacobin era as well as Elizabethan era? Understood? Don't leave out. Take a glance on each points and crack your examination. Thanks a lot.